The vast majority of controller players are obsessed with knowing what is the best controller out there. No, this is not a hashtag ad if that's what you're thinking, but there is in fact a controller that everyone, pros and content creators, can agree that is the best choice. The I use is from Battle Beaver. Battle Beaver. Battle Beaver. Battle Beaver Customs. Shout out Battle Beaver. I use a Battle Beaver controller. I'm gonna be testing a Battle Beaver controller. Now, the reason why many creators prefer custom made over regular controllers is for the fact that you can put paddles or buttons in the back so that you never have to remove your thumbs from your sticks at any given moment. Also, comment down below and tell me, when you play controller, do you play with your hands on the desk or under the desk? Because I play like this and I've heard some people play like this and I just think that's very weird. I don't know how this is comfortable, man. Now, I want to make one thing clear here. This is not going to be one of those, oh my god, I got a new controller and he gave me aimbot type of bullshit. I'm always going to be real with y'all. No clickbaity bullshit. I'm not a partner or or anything so you know if i truly believe in a product i'm gonna you know say it okay but what happens if i can't spend that much money on one of these controllers well i'm gonna show you how to make different custom button layouts in game using a 40 dollar controller for both console and pc so you never have to remove your thumbs from your sticks but only if you subscribe and like the video right now i'm just playing i'm gonna show you anyway but you know if you want to like the video and subscribe it helps and i'll really appreciate it but anyway regarding battle beaver a few months ago i got the pleasure of finally and i'm talking just get him out of the box god damn it and my first impressions were Ooh! yo this feels handcrafted all right so to do like an overview of the controller right you have the uh, smart triggers and also the D-pad and the buttons are also smart triggers. Just like a mouse click. And then the back buttons, I got two. I mean, I, I already used like two paddles in the back on the scuff. And when I compare this controller to my previous scuff, I think one of my biggest things with like scuff in general, the build quality doesn't really feel that great. Like right out of the box, the triggers felt a little loose. I guess the bar is not set that high for battle beat. I mean, I now, first things first, the question that everyone has in mind right now, will this controller last long gaming sessions? Well, to answer your question, question let's skip forward a little bit it's been three months since i got the controller in the mail now i usually play around from like four to five hours a day and well it's still standing and it works just as fine. Now, like I said in the beginning, I'm not partner or anything. I actually bought this. So I'll be 100% real with y'all. This is just my dead ass opinion. So with that being said, I'm gonna start with the cons. Okay, the first thing I noticed when I unboxed this is that the back buttons felt like a little loose-ish. Maybe I'm tripping, I'm not sure. Maybe they're supposed to feel like that. Maybe making them tighter is bad for the quality of the controller. But since this is handcrafted, I mean, I do expect for it to have like some small flaws. Again, it's not a deal breaker or anything. And to be honest after like three months of use the buttons are still there it still feels like a little wiggly and stuff but it still works it's still responsive so i got used to it after like a week second thing is the smart pad and the uh, smart buttons they have a rough texture to them i think I think they have like a soft touch option, but I could be wrong. It isn't a con for me, but it could be for other players who don't necessarily like that type of texture, specifically uh, players who play Claw. Like for example, Hal plays Claw and he does have smart buns, but he got them custom made because apparently since he plays Claw, the texture was kind of rough on his uh, fingers. But who knows? Maybe you like it. Again, it's not a con for me. And the final con, it's not really like a con to be honest. I'm just picky, I guess. But whenever I turn on my PC and I, I by the way, I always leave my controller plug Plugged in. I literally have to unplug it and then plug it again and it starts to work. I don't know why it does that. My scuff doesn't do that. Just a little annoying, I guess, but it's not like a deal breaker. And that's the reality here. The cons are really not that big. They're not like deal breakers or anything. And there literally isn't a lot of them. Like after three months, my sticks feel fine. Yeah, they feel like broken in. If you see any of my uh, gameplay here or on TikTok and you see that I have stick drift, that's because I'm on uh, no dead zone. And even with a brand new controller, you're still going to get stick drift. So like, you know, that's that's fine. But even now, when I put like small dead zone, I, I don't have any stick drift. So the quality of the sticks are really good. I forgot to mention one uh, con that I heard from other people that have a Battle Beaver is that they take too long to make them and to ship them. It's around like two to three weeks. You can pay extra if you want. But if I'm being honest, once I got this roller, I did feel like it was worth the wait. So now let's move on to the pros. Now, the main reason I wanted to get a Battle Beaver was because of how much you can customize the controller specifically the smart pad and the uh, smart uh face buttons that's the stick like yeah you can get the digital triggers and bumpers and stuff like that remove the rumble 
controls and yada 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 for these you can get a smart pad and smart face buttons and you can also uh customize the uh, stick tension so i absolutely love how this controller feels it's very responsive especially if you play battle royales you're gonna be using these buttons a lot more so the fact that they're like mouse clicks pretty much really good but if your main game is apex not only you're going to be using the face buns but you're going to be using this for you know healing grenades and stuff like that and the fact that these are as responsive as a mouse click is absolutely beautiful now speaking about responsive back buns over paddles that is all if you play games like apex it has like a lot of movement involved during gunfights the back buns feel way better than paddles uh for movement specifically and the fact that you can adjust the stick tension is absolutely game changing to me some people like the feeling of broken in sticks from the get-go so they get like uh they get 20 percent decreased tension on the sticks or if you're having problems like tracking and stuff like that and you want heavier sticks you can also increase the the, the stick tension and lastly i want to go back to one of the things that i first said when i got this controller it felt handcrafted you can tell that this was done with care it doesn't feel like cheap plastic or anything yeah it doesn't have like a crazy design to it it's just simple and straight to the point very responsive and i absolutely love this now to be clear this is a pretty hefty investment but what happens if i can't spend that much money on a controller like this am i just doomed nope not really here in my hands i have an xbox one controller that cost me exactly 40 dollars you can buy this on a target or a walmart and i will give you a few different button layouts that have one goal in mind and that is you won't remove your thumbs from your sticks so with the button layouts that we have available, we should mainly focus on being able to fight, reload without moving our thumbs from the sticks, but also focus on the movement aspect of the game. The default stick layout doesn't allow you to do that if you don't have a custom controller, unless you play claw, but I don't recommend you do that. So here are a few different button layouts that you should use if you have a default controller. And shout out to District. He's the inspiration for this part of the video, and I give credit where credit is due. First one I heard about is the uh, button puncher layout. Only thing that changes are the melee and the crouch. You crouch with the right stick, and even though this allows you to crouch strafe while shooting, you still have to move your thumbs away from the sticks if you want to jump or loot. So I really wouldn't recommend this. This one. Second one is the evolved button layout. This one is much better than the button puncher in my opinion. Now you can jump with the left bumper and crouch with the right stick and it's one of the most comfortable layouts on these options by far. The gunplay feels smooth, the movement like bunny hopping and wall bounce feel like effortless and i'm a big fan of how the wall bounce feels because the bumper is as responsive as a back button on a custom controller yeah if you press a that's also as responsive as the bumper but like i said before you would have to play claw if you want to use a for jumping and not move your thumb from your stick but again that's not good for your health a lot of professional players have retired from uh comp in call of duty because of the health hazard that playing claw does to you and i plan to keep gaming my entire life even if this youtube thing does doesn't work and i keep working a nine to five i'm still gonna play for a long time and playing claw will affect me in the long run so i don't recommend it for anyone but anyways evolved button layout feels great so i really recommend this one the other button layout i liked was the ninja layout with this one you jump with the left bumper and crouch with the right one now similar to the evolved layout this one is very responsive in terms of the movement slide jump feels a lot better since the bumper is more responsive than the stick because with the stick it's easy to miss the timing of it making you dead slide like crazy and wall bounces feel really nice so i also recommend this layout now i'll admit this one might feel a little bit uncomfortable because you have to play with both your index finger and ring fingers resting like this but if you already play like that then you're gonna love this one and if you don't play like that it's fine after a few minutes in the range i got used to it and now finally here's the custom layout i use when playing with the default controller it might look a little bit weird but let me explain why it is like this you jump with the left stick crouch with the right one reload and interact with the right bumper and switch weapons or holster with the left bumper now the reason i have it like this it's because those are the four main things you're going to be doing in game slide jump is important for moving around the map challenging other players and being a aggressive you're going to be constantly reloading during gunfights and also switching weapons when you need to swap to your pk or to your wingman to finish a fight and this layout allows you to do all of that without moving 
your thumbs from your sticks. Now, I took this layout in a game of mixtape, since that's where you can constantly get into fights. Die, fight, die, fight, and so on, and so on, and so on. And I recommend you use this mode not only to improve with your mechanics, but to test different bottom layouts you want to use. And honestly, when I tested this layout, I struggled a little bit in the beginning. But a few minutes after... I started to get comfortable with it. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. And it didn't take long until I started to feel confident again. Now, the reason I made this layout is to show you guys that you don't need a custom-made controller. Yeah, it's a good investment to make, but if you can't afford it, you're not gonna be at a disadvantage. If you wanna play with similar advantages they have, aka not moving your thumbs from your sticks while fighting, I'm here to show you that you can do it with any controller you have laying around your house. There are plenty of options in game and in YouTube, but in the end, I recommend these three layouts I showed in the video. But the evolved button layout is my winner here, since it's comfortable and very easy to use for any skill skill level whether you're a movement player or if you don't care for movement at all and finally out of all the custom made controllers in the market i feel like battle beaver is by far one of the best out there and if i'll give it an honest rating it'll have to be a 9 out of 10 by far one of the best controllers i use and now i know why every single controller pro in apex legends uses this exact controller and if you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace